equatorial mount is pretty simple. This axis here uh, is your latitude, wherever your latitude is, and it's pointing at the nearest pole. So in my case, it's uh, 48 degrees uh, and it's pointing at the North Pole. So it's 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's the real importance of equatorial mount. It means you have a time-based system. So this is the equatorial mount for solar panels. <coughs> So this is electrical solar panel, so this pretends to be, this is the electrical panel. So it's just flat mounted on, this is the rotating, this rotates <coughs> on the equatorial mount. The panel is moved occasionally through the, through the year, so that it's better points at the sun. And I'm just going to show you. So here's the deal. Uh, just adjust this. So here's the equinox. So this can be, uh, this is September, so the September equinox. So we're going to move it on 1st of October, move it on and see how things are. So there's the 21st of December and you can see that the graduations like September is a big one, a big month. There's September, here's August. June and July, you hardly need to change the thing. But August, you probably need to change it a little. Depending on, you know, you're, you're going to get quite good efficiency anyway. But September is a big month. The most change happens. Then October, a little less. November, less. And December, very little. December and January, there's a little of December over here too. But December is only a tiny amount. So December is pointing at the sun, low in the sky, rotating at 15 degrees per hour. And there we go, there's December. Now we'll go to July. We'll go to the 21st of June. So here's the 21st of June. It's pointing way up there, high in the sky. And this is at my latitude. I'll have to show you your latitude now too. That's the only difference. It's still equatorial mount. If you make equatorial mount like on this kind of basis, it's uh, you can do it world, uh, for a worldwide market. You've got to try and pretend that this is a parabolic dish. Parabolic dish doesn't need to be round, it can be square or anything, as long as the parabola is, uh, uh, the dish is, is, you know, dish shaped, you just cut off whatever the excess is. Now, um, it's the same applies like here we go we're down somewhere in uh, Kenya or um, close to Ecuador and we're close to the equator anyway and here's the equinox oh I dropped off my little marker now, in this case we're using a solar cooker right down there so same, same applies, you're turning it and if, if you have it, the axis close to the middle, your center of gravity is not going to change much. So that's good. You can have a cooking pot. If this was going right through, uh, you could have a cooking pot uh, right here. As long as it's on the axis and uh, you have it set up right in the morning. From morning to evening, it'll stay on. Uh, like you could have it set up uh, some way from here to here, it could be hanging on something here or contained on something there. But if you don't have it on the axis, it's going to move. Now, let's say you have your parabolic dish and uh, it's, uh, its center shines up high the focus is up here that means that it must be attached to this to be maintained one of the most successful solar cookers in the world is called the SK14 and it's uh, made in Germany and the cooking pot's right in the middle of the dish which means you have to lean over by about two feet 
um, 60 centimeters to reach your dish, which isn't exactly good for the back. So you could have another alternative might be to have a focus here and not have to lean so far. But in that case, the focus has to be attached to this, like your, your pot has to be attached to this and you run into problems as you turn it. So that's just a design problem, it's not necessarily a problem problem. And um, there's other things you could do, you could have uh, you could have two dishes, you could have a dish with a focus here, but these are just options that people kind of get tracked into one thing and they can't they don't seem to be able to think that there's more than one way of doing things. And there's lots of ways of doing things, and I'm not going to be able to cover them all or think of them all, but maybe maybe you'll think of some good ones. Okay, your focus is up here, and your cooking pot is up here. So it's going to move with the, the seasonal adjustment, and you're going to have uh, you're going to have to set things up so that you're able to adjust your pot over the hours like it. You could have two two dishes and a focus here and a focus there. There's lots and lots of things you can do with equatorial man. I think that bugs me is I've made a couple of new types of dishes and no one has bothered checking them out to see if they're as good as or better than the other uh, the competition or whatever. And uh, that's a big problem. But even if you do check them out, if you don't have something like this that sets up each cooker in a test, like you could have, say, two, four, six. You could actually test eight mini cookers, you know, mini models in one of these, and uh, you know, reliably test them. This could be standardized, and then the competition would be about uh, finding the best uh, dish shapes, and it would be about consumer satisfaction rather than making whatever the manufacturer finds easiest to make. There is a thing called uh, Scheffler Solar Kit Kitchens and he's, uh, he's a guy from I think it's Germany or Austria and he's done a wonderful job with uh, thinking through solar but he, he's done a high high-tech engineering job of it and this is maybe an alternative that's lower tech and that ordinary people might be capable of doing. You set it up in the morning to uh, line up with the sun, 15 degrees per hour, and all day, and the sun keeps shining on your cooking pots from both of them. New. Uh, then, I'm going to show you in Equinox. So Equinox is here and here. So, same deal, equinox, 15 degrees per hour, slowly rotating, following the sun. So this is, this is pointed at the sun and the focus is on this the entire day. And finally, high summer, so it's up here, the sun is up high, this one goes down low. So these are, these are actually in line. The what's happening is this one is rotating on a line that will be passing through your cooking pot. This one is rotating on a line that's passed through the cooking pot. Focus is on the cooking pot, so uh, because it's rotating on that line and because uh, the focus is on that all the time, it, uh, it stays right there. So this is high summer and uh, these can be, the lengths can be adjusted uh, in when it's properly designed so that there's a good fit here, so there's very little light loss. So here's the high summer situation. And uh, this is my, well, this is just an alternative, say, to uh, the Scheffler soil cooker. So Scheffler has won. He has, uh, generally he has something way up here. Uh, rotating on a single axis and it's quite an engineering challenge to do that because you've got to actually vary the shape of your, uh, your dish to do it.